Jordan's back. I'm gonna try to handhold here. We got the uh, new Dot RS. I feel like I got you on retainer now. You're, oh. you're, you're here a lot. So the window's real nasty inside, so we'll have to do a good clean up there. Everybody's gonna dry shrink some uh, Expel uh, Prime Plus XR. See, I got it. I got it nailed now. Prime Plus XR on the windshield. I don't know what's on the sides, but it's already done. It looks pretty good. So, and it's a pretty good dark. Looks like like a 20% maybe, something like that. So I'm digging it. So we're gonna leave that alone. But we're, uh, he's here, so we might as well get the windshield done. This is great. So we'll do 70% on the entire windshield. While I got, I might just leave the car in here and do the radar detector when I get back on Friday. I'm not sure. Can't, can't keep driving around on this thing without any radar radar protection. So we've done some more extensive videos on the M5 and the Corvette. So you can make sure to go check those out. But he's here. I got an RS. We can reach more people by shooting an RS. So we might as well do it. So what you just put some balance on there, some uh, fabric softener. Is that what that was? Yeah, just standard dryer sheet, just fabric softener. So that way, when the tent's sliding around, when you're dry shrinking, it doesn't stick to the windshield and crease up. It just allows it to slide around with no friction. Got it. So you don't uh, you don't plot the windshield. You generally cut it, bulk it. Correct. Uh, the patterns are in the computer system. Expels DAP systems got everything in it, and it's pretty exact. So the pattern would fit, I just don't like the way it shrinks when you have to unroll it on the windshield and line it up where it wants to end up being and then shrink around that. I'd rather shrink the whole glass and then cut where it's going to be once it's formed. It's a personal preference that that's the way I like to do it. Got it. I got killed in the comments on the BMW video because people thought I was dragging the box across your side view mirror. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, you you got to be careful with this, with this place. Well, I was actually holding it above the mirror. It wasn't dragging it across it, but it's tough to see on video. And, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. Not that I live my life by YouTube comments. But this is smart. This is a smart move. I like that. It's a little bit nicer car than the M5, so I figured I'd take a little extra precaution if you're videoing it. So you are roughing this, like you're not making an exact cut. I guess you are around the window frame there. Just so that way it doesn't bunch up or get an overage. Um, that way when you're trying to iron it out, it's not doing something weird because it's touching the paint. Got it. Because if you see the black, see the black border there on the windshield. As long as you get it inside of there, then... Correct. Then we have a good, you know, even coverage. So the mo one of the most common things when people start watching a video like this all the time, they're like, why are you putting tin on the outside? I thought it went on the inside. Yep. And we're shrinking it on the outside. Well, yeah, he's shrinking it. <laughs> this is a little bit nice of a car to be inside with a heat gun. 
So you shrink, and the reason you shrink again. Well, the, the windshield's got curve and the film is flat, so you've got to make it shrink up and conform to the window that you're putting it on. RS. I already put my clear side markers on. Got that done. Next up, we've got to paint correct this thing. Get it ready to go. Got some bugs on there, but there's, I believe, to be Expel on all of the exterior. It looks like Expel to me. So once he's done shrinking that, I'll come back and we'll show you, show him cutting it to fit. Yeah, this is the one car where the uh, soap rope makes a huge difference because I think the ECU or so, or the something, a lot of the control units for the interior stuff sits right behind the dash there. And the two times I've had my windshield tinted on my uh, GT3, the controls went wonky. And then luckily they came back, but this is going to tape up the Alcantara and just prep the area. All right, so you got the interior all prepped. Taped and prepped. You got a soap rope in there somewhere. We'll show that when he pulls it out. I was eating lunch. I was eating lunch, I got sidetracked. So now he's cutting, cutting around the dot matrix, or shaping, and then and put it in the car. Now he's got to prep the windshield. So that bottom right is real sticky. There was some sort of goofy sticker on there. Where's that? The bottom right in the Oh, I already got that. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Bladed it off. So this is just to keep it wet and cleaned off before I, right before I squeegee it and roll it. Positioning it. And 
once it gets it positioned, I'm going to start to push all the air and water out. there, catches the excess water, and we're done. He knows not to wipe my paint, to leave it dirty. I ride dirty until I can wash it. And we got ourselves a windshield tinted telling you it makes a huge difference with the heat and sun and reflections at night I know some of you say do 50 I, I, 50 is just too dark man I can't do it gotta stay with 70 is about as dark as I'm willing to go there you have done expel prime plus XR heat rejecting 70% film Clarity will get better as the water evaporates out. So how do people find you in Central Florida? Um, either Facebook or Instagram. It's all Alligator Window Tent, and then my website is alligatorwindowtent.com. And you're mobile, you go all over Absolutely. all over Central Florida. Bring in everything you'd want in a brick and mortar to your place, so computer cut on the site. You can make a game time decision on what film you want. Awesome. Thanks, brother.